yo-yo is the hit life. Good morning. This is not the best angle, but I don't have any tripods or anything. And I'm on my, my iPad. Um, I usually vlog everything on my phone, but it is dead. And I just started a fire, which is super easy with these fire starters. I did a few logs so that in the next uh, half hour to hour, it can be uh, nice and cold, warm for breakfast. Sean has scrambled eggs to make and bacon. He's still sleeping. Harrison's still sleeping. Um, I woke up about 6.30 and had to go to the bathroom. We are right next to the bathroom, which is nice. I'll show you a clip of that. <coughs> and um, had a good night. We got here about 4 yesterday afternoon. Um, we left on Sunday. And after church and got, got up here, it was only about an hour um, this fire is really going now. Well, I have my holes in my pants. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, we left after church yesterday, my hair, sorry. Um, got up here about four and set up camp. Um, we actually were at the campsite over there and the electric wasn't working, so they actually had this one blocked off, but they opened it up for us. This is Golden Gate Canyon State Park, um, just north of Golden, northwest of Golden. And so it's only about an hour from the church, less than an hour. So it's close, but high up in the mountains. And so we're at about uh, somewhere over 9,000 feet. So not too, too high, but high enough that it was really cool last night. Yesterday evening, it was in the 60s when we got here and uh, yesterday afternoon. It was almost 90 when we left town, and it was in the 60s yesterday afternoon when we got here. And I would say it got down to the low 50s last night. It was not uncomfortable in the van at all, not at all. And um, we've camped in August and September and been cold, a little cold, but it was completely fine. It was great. And even out here this morning, I have a t-shirt on. It's a crisp morning. It feels like a fall morning. It does not feel uncomfortable at all. And so, um, it just feels great. I'm not sure what we're going to do today. We may go to Panoramic Point, which is uh, really close to the campground. We'll just have to pack up the car a little bit um, to go. But, um, yeah, it's it's a beautiful campground. It's a big campground. Um, they do have a shower house even down the street. So, uh, that's an option, too. Um, but anyway, we're staying tonight. We'll be here all day today. And then we're leaving tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah. Very nice, uh, very heavy pine and wooded. A lot of the campsites we go to are more um, open because the uh, pine beetles, the, there's bugs that get into the, infest the trees, and a lot of campgrounds have to cut a lot of trees down. And so this is still very wooded and very pine um, covered. So, um, yeah, it's just beautiful here. It's super quiet right here. We have zero cell phone ser service zero cell phone service so we're completely off grid as far as <laughs> communication um i know one person knows where we're at if there was an emergency but um yeah we're off the radar for a couple days so anyway hopefully pretty soon my family will wake up and uh, come out here and i can make me some coffee i don't want to stir around in the van too much to get all my coffee stuff out but for now i've got some flavored water. So anyway, it should be a good day. I had my camping chair sitting right here and the leg of it went through that hole and it almost looks like a snake hole. So not sure. I'm watching this truck that pulled in over here with a small tag along trailer and um they're trying to level out their trailer, I think. I uh, pulled in, had to get the right placement, and now he's, you know, backing up and forth, and I can tell he's trying to either level up or, or something. Um, and I'm thinking about the fact that how easy minivan camping is. It's, it's better than having a tent. It's, 
I feel like a little safer than having a tent. Um, but you don't have the, um, all the things to do that you do with a trailer or an RV. Because, you know, some people when they sit up, they have, everybody has to level out. So if you have a trailer, look at these bugs. I don't know what they're coming from. They're like fruit flies. I don't know why they're out here. Um, <coughs> but you have to level a trailer or an RV. You have to be level because you have slides a lot of times. You have to do slides. You have to pull the slides in and out. Even if you have a pop-up. We've considered getting a pop-up. But even in a pop-up, you have to pull out those slides and set the canvas up. And can I just say that, like, minivan camping, it, it rocks. It rocks because... Um, we literally pull in, um, we do run an extension cord from the box into our van, and then we have a power strip inside of our van. Mm. I literally just had to, like, um, take, take my boxes and bags outside of the van. I hung my curtains up, and I unfolded the bed and made the bed, and we pretty much set up, like... It's so convenient and so easy. Um, we have a full-size memory foam trifold mattress in our car. So it folds up and down. Um, like, it, it's so much. Like, I can see, I guess, if you had an RV or a trailer setting up for the week. But we usually camp for one night or two nights. So, and have one full day. And so, um, yeah, maybe if you were camping a week or so, it would be um, good you know, worth it, but man, having our little van is just so easy, because we can just pull in, and, and set our little van up, and it's just, it's nice not having to pull something, not, you know, we can take it anywhere that a car can go, we can go, and, uh, that's really nice, that's really nice, um, not that it's bad, we've talked about having an, a, a trailer, or an RV, or a pop-up, but, man, it sure is convenient having our little minivan. And you can do it. Like, if you're a single person or a couple, and we're, me and Sean are big, so even big couples, and we have a four-year-old, almost five-year-old, um, you can do it. And you can do it very easily. And, um, yeah, it's great. I highly suggest uh, minivan camping. And even if you don't have a minivan and you wanted to buy one just to camp in, it would be worth it because you can find an older used minivan pretty cheap. Um, so I highly recommend mini minivan camping. <laughs> I'm just sitting here by the fire waiting for my family to wake up. Um, it's doing good. Let me see if I can get it around there. It's all leveled out so that when we put the grill down to cook, it'll be a nice bed of just heat. Um, there's still some fire left. But our goal is to get these logs to where they are just fiery coals. Um, a little flame is okay, but just a nice cooking surface. So hopefully by the time Sean gets up, it'll be closer to being ready to cook on. Enjoying nature. And these stupid bugs, they look like a fruit fly. And I'm noticing how my hair looks very gray <laughs> this morning. <laughs> But these little fruit flies, I may have to move closer to the fire so they don't bother me. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with them. Like a gnat, I guess. Just bubbling over there in that log. <laughs> it's just, just blurring. Sap. Bubble of sap. I slept good. 
I, he woke up a couple times, like a few times I would sit up and then had to, he had to lay back down. But, um, <clears throat> there was a good run of sleep, I feel like. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Only time I woke up is when you pulled the covers off of me a lot. So I think we're going to have separate then blankets. Then we'll do two separate blankets. No! Look! Yeah. I watched it go off. It did a flip. Yeah, right? It's a little flies. Oh, oh. I made a mess too. Okay. It won't hurt you. They're just little flies. All right. We've got our water. Like. Okay. Show me what you're doing. I'm waiting those down. Yeah. Mm. Bugs. We're out in nature. Mm -hmm. Hey, Harrison, you know how you don't like bugs in our house? Mm -hmm. You're in their house. <gasps> we live in the bug's house. Aww. <laughs> he's, he's an ant. And he's like, aww. So cute. So cute. <laughs> All right, breakfast is done. Thank you to the chef who can't see anymore and might not have any hair or eyebrows. Are my eyebrows gone? For no. <laughs> Harrison's having a meltdown because of the bugs. I took his iPad so I could video and he spilled some of his cheese. So he's having a little bit of a crisis and breakfast looks delicious. And so I'm going to eat breakfast because it looks so good. There's nothing like um, eggs on a campfire. Oh my gosh, there's nobody behind me. I look ridiculous. I look like I've been camping. So, we are going to go on an adventure. Sh show them this real Shauna quick. would be so proud that we're not just sitting at the campsite. We're actually going to go somewhere. We were able to put the bed up. And we left some of our kitchen stuff at our campsite. And we're going to go check out Panorama Point. Sean burnt his a hole in his pants from an ember today. Cooking breakfast. Cooking breakfast. Okay. Hopefully you can see it. So we're leaving the campground right now. It's beautiful. And we're going to go check out Panorama Point. It's just like a couple miles away. Can't really... I'll probably be able to see more once I get up the road. But um, we're... Like I said, we're somewhere over 9,000 feet. Uh, not super, super, super high. Like, you know, Rocky Mountain National Park high. I think we can get But what does this say? Panorama Point? Oh, it's left. Left. Yep. And... Maybe we'll see a moosen. Or a bird. Nice, baby, because wow. I gotta show you this once I get up here, though, because it's so pretty, this big cliff up here. I know it's a little bit of a dirt road. I've already seen that on a, some of those's vlogs. Is it a dump station? No. Uh, okay, yeah. park fees here. Okay. But look at the, oh, the power cords are in the way. But that cliff is so pretty up there. I might be, you want to... You want to find a bear? What will you do if you see a bear? What would you do? Okay, this way. This way? This way, Daddy. I mean, um, maybe this way. Oh. Oh, yeah. This okay. actually is a trail. This raccoon trail Can leads back to the campground. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, That's no. not, Dad, I'm not ready for that. Way. Oh, go the other way? We have, we have to go in a different way. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, you lead.
Well, we've had a lot of smoke, so I thought we'd see nothing, but you can kind of see them, just not real, real good. And this map like lists all the different peaks. Oh, there's a bench. Whew. Oh, look at there. There's benches. What are you guys doing? Mount Evans is right there, Renette. Got to text me a thing. Right yeah? Yeah. Mount Evans. Idaho Springs is right there. Idaho Springs is right there. And that there. ant's climbing a high mountain right there. Look what? at that thing. Yeah. Take a picture of that. Okay. There. Hey. Hey, what? Let's keep these small. All right, we'll go a little bit. We're only going to go a little ways. Mom, um, you think you can walk a little ways? Yeah. We'll see. My knees are really hurting today. Not my feet, but my knees. It's a gnarly tree. That's a gnarly tree. Harrison, sit here on the tree. Look here. Let me take a picture of you. Oh, Harrison, look. Hey, it's okay. Look. Bubba, there's going to be ants and bugs. Bubba, sit right here. Let me take a picture. Mama's going to take a picture. Look at Mommy. Say cheese. You'll end up falling with him if you hold him. I don't like. Yeah, this like winds down through the side of the mountain. I'm going to go far. You don't have to go. Be careful. I'm afraid you're going to slip and fall with him. I'll sit up here and do some texting. Please be careful. Up here on this little bench, I'm going to do some texting while I have a signal. Whew, my knees are hurting bad. I took a naproxen this morning. Let's see. Did you guys take a little hike? Did you go on a hike, Bubba? Yeah. <gasps> you did? No. Daddy went on a hike and Harrison rode. <laughs> hey, you want to come out with us and we see a butterfly? You saw a butterfly? I saw two butterflies. Hungry caterpillar. So I'm able to text, but I wasn't able to send a picture. It wouldn't go through. Okay, you gotta get down now, Bob. You're heavy. My knees are hurting. I took an approxim this morning, but my You're knees. Boy. Yeah, did you have fun? It's only 2.3 miles to the camp. So this kid purposely put on two different kinds of shoes this morning. <laughs> You're a whole kind of special, you know that? Yeah. yeah phone booster or something over there. Here. Put one foot here. Turn around. I'm going to help you. Yeah. Okay. Put this foot here. Okay. Pick yourselves up. Use daddy. Push up. Up. Okay. Now put this leg here. Push up. Okay. Hold on. I'm coming around. Okay. Now put one foot over there. Look. Over there. Get, it, get your foot in there. Put your foot in there. Give me some. You know. <clears throat> You're fine. You're fine. Hey. You're fine. Come on. Put your other foot. You need to put a foot right there. Take this leg and swing it over. I got you. Swing it. There you go. Up. Push up. You're there. You're getting there. Climb up. Put both feet Hug up. Hug the tree. Both feet up. Use the tree. Climb. Stand up. You Whoa! did it. Whoa! King of the mountain. Good job. All right, come on. Good bad. 
Be careful. Look, Daddy can't carry you down this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I think that's called Tremont Mountain. What did I say it was? 11? 10,900? But I don't think you can see it. But over here, there's this like rock formation sticking up. Uh, where's it at? I can't find it now. Oh, you got it. Where? It's right there. Oh, it is. It's right there. That. Uh, right there. It's just a rock formation out of the side of the mountain. It's so cool. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. Oh, there is that formation again. It's crazy. We're just on this dirt road coming out of Panorama Point. Just kind of taking a little drive and seeing what we see. Sean always makes fun of me about the aspens, but I absolutely adore them. Can you see the fluttering, all that fluttering? The aspen leaf just flutters. It's just known for that. Look at that. You see it? And another month, the end of September, this all aspens turn beautiful yellow with that white bark. And all these aspens will be yellow and they'll be beautiful. So we're gonna try to come back up here uh, maybe in a few weeks or, or so. But I love that fluttering, those fluttering leaves. So we just came around the bend and you can't already see it with the camera because um, you can't, it, it's not even real, real clear with the naked eye. But can you see those mountains in through there? Uh, it just doesn't do it justice. We come around this, down this little curve, and oh, Are you looking I'd at love mountains? to just live right here and have this. Do you like the mountains? Mommy loves the mountains. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You think we should move to the mountains? There's two. There's so I don't one. know if you can hear it, but we think it's a cicada. He's, He's flying gone. in, in and out you of the trees. Right yep. Now. He's, he's loud. He's all the he's way over He's very there loud. The he's way out there in the trees, but he's flying in and out of the trees. When he lands, you his noise stops, which is why I think it's a cicada. Let's see if... No, there he is. <gasps> there he is. See him? He just landed, so he stopped. I don't see him, but I know he landed right over he's here. Loud. I saw him land, too. Anyway, he keeps coming in, in and out of the trees, flying. Oh, Harrison's getting out. All he cares about is his stupid iPad. He's been in the van the whole time. I know. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's going around. Who thinks we're in a team bike? What? I'm a hawk. It's for Apple. There's people right there on the hike. Yeah? They're going somewhere. I don't know where they're going. Okay. Okay. Hey, Bob, there's this, um, there's this bug called a cicada. And he's over here on the ground right now, but when you when he goes to fly, his wings are really long and they make a noise when he flies. You'll hear him in just a minute. When he takes off, you'll hear him. Wow, yeah, you'll hear him. He's a cicada. Can you say cicada? Cicada. Yeah. Ah, I get him. Yeah, all you care about your iPad. <laughs> Bubba, you comfortable? Yeah. You're just chillaxing? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we're just sitting here chilling. It's probably the warmest part of the day right now. It's, it's not horrible. It's super tolerable. Um, you know, we're in the shade and everything, so it's good. But in a few hours, it'll start to drop and really cool off. So we're just sitting here chilling. I don't want to show you me because I have a tank top on. <laughs> this is not the most YouTube-worthy top. We're playing yeah, I here. Spy. They're, they're not white fins. Let's, okay, let me try. It's over this way. Let me try. Okay, go ahead. I spy with my little eyes something. Hey, let me try white, white eagle. I'm trying. White. White? Yeah. Hmm. Is that trash, trash bag? bag? No. No. Is it the white on that cone over there? Mm. That's not that's not white. Okay. That's orange. Is it the paper towels? Mm. Is it that rock right there? Oh yeah, the paper towels. <laughs> you so silly. Closer to us. You see? Him? Yep.
got red on his back. I think that's a robin. Maybe. From the face, it looks like a robin. That's a chipmunk. When he moves, he'll move quick. Not moving. Do you see him, Harrison? Yeah. I don't think Harrison sees him. Do you see you the little chipmunk's the head? Flowers? See over there by the purple flowers? The little chipmunk's little head sticking up above the board? Yeah. Do you see him? Yeah. Oh, he's left there. Oh, he's moving. There he goes. <laughs> He's gone.